वेलकम बैक टू जॉन्स म्यूजिक वी आर बैक अगेन विद अनदर गिटार रिव्यू विच इज अजुअल रिकमेंडेशन फॉर गिटार इज हु आर लुकिंग फॉर गिटार बिटवीन द फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्राइज रेंज हियर वी हैव द केपमा एफ वन ई जी ए इन अ वेरी न्यू फिनिश विच यू माइट नॉट हैव सीन ऑन वीडियोज बिफोर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स चेक इट आउट So we're going to uncover this right away without any delay, because we have been also excited to review this guitar since a very long time. So here is the F1E GA by Kepma. In the cherry burst finish, we'll get rid of this paper because it's ruining the overall look of the guitar right away. This packaging is something done. by the factory you remove this right away during the setup for some if this is left for on for too long sometimes the strings get uh, color color change because of the paper so here it is in its absolute beauty the sides have a burst finish which is again something uh, unique to this guitar and here is the back so before i get into the specifications and the whole accessory list I want you guys to listen to this. So that is coming right out of the guitar. The guitar is not connected. The trans acoustic pickup on this is really really good. We haven't honestly found any other guitar with this quality of a trans acoustic pickup. So even if you're planning to do arpeggios So I believe the recent shipments have a little more louder a transducer speaker inside because this is the loudest we have heard the trans acoustic to be sounding. So that was a quick demo before we get into the specifications. The sound is absolutely fantastic. So speaking about what comes along with the guitar, first of all the guitar comes with a very good quality padded bag, a 20 mm padded bag. Earlier this used to come in light grey. now this is come in dark gray which is something that we prefer it is to get dirty very easily with the light gray it comes with a very big pocket inside and uh, i wish there was a pocket in top also but then it ruins the overall look this is a padded side handle we have a padded back strap as well this is for extra support on your back it's cushiony material this is for your hanging your guitar good quality bag with the kepma logo right it here itself this bag is also available separately for purchase for your existing guitars you can go to our website johnsmusic.in and search the code f bag that is the f series bag this guitar is the f series by kepma so f bag you search and you can land on this product easily cost 3500 indian rupees the other accessories that you get with the guitar is a 4.5 meter cable a really good quality a uh, guitar cable that Kepma is giving now this cable is not just been given with this particular guitar you buy any electro acoustic guitar of Kepma this is something that you get along with it. uh the trans acoustic pickup is by double we have previously reviewed the double uh, sound hole pickup with the similar features but this is pre installed on the guitar this is the catalog that comes along with it this is guitar humidifier it's more or less uh, not very useful for indian high humid conditions If your city is having a very low humid uh, condition like below 35%, this is usable to you. Otherwise, you can absolutely not use this uh, in any city that has a humidity above 60%. Now, this is a charging cable that you can charge the guitar with. Yes, you heard it right. You need not change the battery. You can charge your guitar with a type C cable that is provided with uh, the guitar. You can plug it into any of your existing uh, charging boxes and you can charge your guitar. inbuilt battery is uh, 2600 mah so that is a powerful battery and a long lasting battery other than this we get this a little gift box sorts accessory i think so let us check what it is the accessory box you get a microfiber cloth now i have to come to this aspects that kepma has been doing they have attention to detail is something that my opinion is because these are the things that are not given by any other company uh, if you're buying a guitar around 50 60 or even for 80000 rupees you're not going to get this kind of a 
a premium uh, feature or premium accessories along with the guitar and nicely the branding is also done so overall experience of the customer when they buy this guitar is a great one i really appreciate kepma's efforts towards doing this a microfiber cloth you get two bridge pins here uh, and two guitar picks so the guitar pick one is soft both are soft actually and two extra bridge pins because bridge pins is something that goes under wear and tear over a period of time another thing is the allen key a really good quality allen key not like any other allen key provided by any other brand has a very good handle to it has a good receded place for your thumb and your finger to hold and most importantly there is a plastic protection here because when you take your guitar you insert the allen key and you turn it this part is what hits the strings and your allen key ends up damaging the strings so that a little thing is little so this little thing is really helpful in that terms you can simply use this by inserting a small water tube or you can even do a good amount of taping on your existing allen key and make it work but this is something that the company is giving really good stuff now coming to the specifications of the Kepma F1E GA first of all this guitar comes in two finishes this is the cherry burst which is something that i really love about this guitar and it also comes in a natural finish both look absolutely good the natural finish will be having a mahogany look back and side and this has overall a burst finish so coming to the wood specifications on the top we have a double a grade sitka solid spruce now one thing is sitka spruce is amazing for a bright sounding guitar second thing is that this is a double a grade spruce now if you do not know what are grades when a company mentions that this is a solid top guitar usually the grade is what that matters if you see any guitar under the 40000 or the 30000 price range you get a single a grade sit spruce this is a double a grade spruce when you go to guitars above 80 90000 rupees you get a triple a grade spruce and above as well so the higher the grade the sound also is different the durability is different the the basically the grade decides the cost of the wood and that's how the guitars overall value also goes up so the back and sides what we have here is african mahogany and also the neck is african mahogany so the back and sides are laminated only the top is solid so do not get that confused that this is solid as well uh, another really important thing that they have done with this guitar is the guitar is gone through a process called as plek now in case you are not aware what plek is plek is the latest industry standard procedure through which fret leveling is done in a computerized format Uh, I happen to have visited the Kepma factory in the year 2020 where they had really shown this how this is done the frets are leveled and based on the leveling the nut is cut so you are looking at a zero buzzing issue uh, with the guitar because this whole thing is a computerized procedure there's a there's a kind of a needle that goes through all frets and checks what level it is at if the frets are unleveled it kind of files the fret and makes it level so you're not looking at any fret leveling issue when you're looking for the Kepma F1E GA or the guitars above this the factory tour that i received was an incredible experience where they had they could explain why this wood is different how it is stored different how it is treated different so an, another thing that Kepma does with the F series and above is that they resonate the guitar before it reaches the customer so the guitar hangs uh, on a hanger and there's a couple of sensors that sits on the top of the guitar and vibrations are passed through the guitar now why is this that done is usually if you know that guitars that have been played for a long time they tend to resonate better so the factory introduced this procedure so that the customer already gets a open sounding guitar not a very muffled sounding guitar so if you listen it's already a very open sounding guitar it's not not muffled at all the solid top already has a good amount of resonance so that was the plek procedure and the whole vibration technologies that they use to make the guitar sound open coming to the bridge and the fretboard both are rosewood we have good looking inlays across the fretboard so that is definitely a plus point another important feature is that the nut and the saddle both are by tusk if you're not aware of tusk tusk makes industry standard quality bone nut and saddles so that the guitar kind of sounds very good and these are very durable you don't have to change this for years to come uh, and we have bridge pins over here which is plastic 
which is something that uh, i would have loved if it was a wooden bridge pin uh, contribute slightly to the resonance of the guitar but this also gets done very easily speaking about the strings the guitar comes with elixir strings which is again an industry standard option uh, for premium guitars so if you see there's a lot of industry standard things being done with this guitar the plex uh, procedure the vibration the the tusk bone nut and saddle and elixir strings usually all the guitars in the 60000 price range usually comes with dadario exp series not a bad string either but these are definitely better uh, phosphobronze strings 12 gauge gives a great sound right away the tuning keys are die cast really good keys does not have any kind of a hardness to it very smooth the strap nuts are right here very heavy duty here you have your output jack which acts as your second strap nut as well now that was the overall specifications uh, in terms of the guitar's wood now it's very important to get into the pickup the pickup is absolutely the game changer on this guitar not that the guitar doesn't sound good by itself the pickup makes it absolutely different so here is the pickup first and foremost we have a type c charging cable so you can charge your guitar whenever you are not playing live uh, this comes into a green light the moment you press the volume in a long press there's a click sound that you listen when the guitar switches on that is not a defect that is basically power being sent from your pickup to the transducer speaker which is inside so we have a volume control here we have tone we have mic we have the reverb section here and the chorus delay section here uh, so if i put on the delay fully you won't listen to any sound from here because the volume needs to be put here so now this sound is being captured by my lapel mic uh, but this is just so that you can hear the demo of the fx if you want to keep the volume full the transducer will be even louder the tone is so that you can eq the guitar in different scenarios if you want more bassy output or uh, you would do you want a more midish output you can use the tone button to modify that accordingly remember that this is not to modify the sound of your transducer but just the output next we have the mic section now if you are a person who has a lot of percussion uh, options available in your playing this will be absolutely good there's a condenser mic inside uh, that picks up your percussive percussive sounds and sends it to your speaker also it's not just for the percussive sounds even your string has a certain of kind of a air to the sound that also gets captured by your mic now we have put the room reverb on uh, almost at full now the reverb is so sensitive that we can hear a little bit of a room reverb here so that's the room reverb uh, so this reverb is sensitive to your slides as well so if you're doing a so that slide sound is also captured by reverb so it gives an overall good feel next comes our hall reverb which is a larger reverb more spacey uh, more distant fills up very much if you're looking for a room performance or even recording for that matter this reverb is absolutely good so the question comes why this fx uh, are there on board if you're not really playing it live also so the thing is that if you're composing anything or playing an existing song you are when you are practicing itself you will end up getting a studio quality sound a sound of uh, a tune that is post produced so same thing if i switch off the pickup so it's not a post produced sound so your ideas for composition even gets enhanced when you have a trans acoustic pickup on board so really helps into composition and also there are many times that your sound vendors in the venue that you booked does not have a good quality reverb or a delay in his mixer happens a lot during cafe gigs because they come with very inferior quality equipments in our local scene so having your own reverb chorus and delay will absolutely enhance your performance and you don't have to rely on the delay or reverb of the sound vendor also one aspect is that what you practiced with 
can be the sound of what you get in your gig so that is a good continuity for a musician and not having a very different sound so what you practice and what you perform if they match you kind of feel the whole thing feel your music better so that was the specifications the accessories and the pickup explained of the Kepma F1E GA it's time to check out how this guitar sounds right now So that was the sound demo of the Kepma F1E GA, good sounding guitar, most importantly well built guitar. There is not any kind of manufacturing defects that we have uh, seen on this guitar lately. Always has been a good piece. Now remember you have to definitely maintain the guitar when it comes to a solid top guitar in our Indian weather. Also if you do not want your neck to warp too much, you can avoid the 12 gauge string and use a 11 gauge string instead. The 12 gauge or the 13 gauge strings ends up being a little heavy on your guitar. Definitely if you're looking for that kind of sound, you need to put that. But make sure you detune the guitar a bit after you're playing so that excess stress is not put on your guitar. Overall, a value for money product. As explained, the trans acoustic pickup is a game changer if you are looking for uh, good effects in your music. This is an amazing option for singer songwriters, especially because it's a grand auditorium shape. Uh, it's very comfortable to take around. Also, it's a game changer for finger style and percussion style guitar players because it has an inbuilt mic. So any kind of taps or hits that you're doing on the guitar will get captured uh, in your recording or on live as well. Even if you do not use the trans acoustic feature, the guitar sounds great by itself. And most importantly, the finishing, the package and the build quality is something that is really good. So the Kepma F1E GA lands in our recommended list of guitars when you're looking for guitars between 55 to 60,000 rupees. The MRP of this guitar as of December 2022 is 60,000 rupees. There is a discount code applicable on the guitar as well. If you're unable to find that, you can reach us out and we can help you with the best price available. Now another thing I forgot to mention is that this guitar also comes in two other sizes. The F1E GA is the Grand Auditorium. Then there's F1E OM if you're looking for an OM shape that is the orchestra model that does not have a cutaway and the F1E D that is the dreadnought. So three sizes and two colors on each. So you have a wide range of sizes to choose from 
we decided to do the f one GA because the Grand Auditorium is now the most preferred size of guitars in India and which is an absolutely great thing because you get the perfect balance between the bass, mids and highs in a Grand Auditorium uh, as opposed to a Dreadnought which might be a little more bass dominated. The guitar size decision is also as per as your comfort or else as per as your choice of sound. There is no good or bad size to be honest. It totally depends on the requirements that you have. Coming to the negative aspects of the Kepma f GA, this guitar does not come with an onboard tuner. The pickup does not have, in fact, none of the double pickups have a tuner on board. You have to buy a separate tuner. There's another negative point related to the charging part. If you're a person who's forgetting to charge before your gig, you might have trouble charging the pickup on time. What I mean by that is usually all the other guitars come with a 9 volt battery. So if your battery is dead, you can remove it, put a new battery and you can start performing. Basically, if you have been a performer who's always been roaming around with 9 volt batteries, this is a different, definite change for you. However, there's a solution to this. If you have a power bank, you can simply connect a type C cable with your power bank, leave it inside your guitar bag and during even travel, your guitar will getting charged so that there is a solution to that. But however, this is something that I had to mention that you cannot go on a low battery to a gig directly and expect to perform on this guitar. You need to charge it before performing. So that was wholly about the Kepma f one GA, a really good option to go for in this price range. There are a couple of alternates in other brands as well in which you might not get the trans acoustic but you will end up getting an all solid guitar. So whatever is your preference and you want to have a discussion with us before finalizing your instrument, you can do that with us. You can reach us on a call and WhatsApp support and we can definitely try to help you guys out. The link to buy this guitar is in the description. You can check the latest pricing and any offers associated with that. So thank you for watching again. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product reviews and educational content. Until the next video, see you guys.